What's going on, Ram fans? I am Jared Stratton here at Canvas Arena, where the Rams just beat the Leathernecks 38 to 13. Now, Corey, what really went on this game? Yeah, so we were talking in the pregame show about how we wanted Colin Hill to really step up as a leader. It's his second game as a senior captain of the team, and he really didn't have everything that I was looking for in the Rocky Mountain Showdown. But boy, did he have it here today with five touchdowns, including the first pass of the game. Oh yeah, and that first pass of the game was a deep bomb, and that's something that we really needed to see from Colin Hill, the aggression to really come out. And now, talking about aggression, just in general for CSU's team, in the second, excuse me, the first half, near the second quarter, they were up by over 20, and they still did an onside kick. Now that's not something that we really expected, but after we talked to Mike Bobo after the game, he said that he plays like there's no scoreboard on the clock, and I think that makes the most sense. Well, for me, it's one of those things where you just want to win a game, right? And with football, anything can happen, right? Comebacks are, are everywhere in college football. So if you're up by six or if you're up by like 20, I think that makes a big difference in, in security. And then you get to have some backups play. And I think there's really no downside to really playing the way that Mike Bobo has been saying. Yeah, definitely. And also talking about people that are stepping up, the whole defense as a whole for the Rams stepped up today. They were beating uh, the offensive line for the Leathernecks. They were destroying them. They were getting sack after sack. They were getting fumbles. They were also getting pressures. And that's something we didn't even see at the Rocky Mountain Showdown. Not a single sack. And to see them step up, I think that really helped the Rams' confidence, especially going on into the next game. Yeah, so CSU averaged 9.1 yards a play. And guess what uh, the Leathernecks had? Way less. <laughs> yeah, 2.2 average yards of play. So I think that stat alone shows just how much that, yes, the defensive line stepped up, but also the defensive backs as well, who were there to kind of make sure that no one would be able to catch any passes. And it wasn't until the starters were out that uh, Western Illinois scored their first touchdown. So. Oh, yeah, and that was within about two minutes left of the game. It was a passing touchdown. It was really in garbage time. It yeah. didn't really count. Mike Bobo made fun of it earlier as well. Mm. And also, to throw in the ring as well, the Leathernecks also didn't have a single rushing touchdown. We talked about it in the pregame show. We didn't, weren't sure who was going to step up for the Leathernecks. And in reality, I don't think anyone did. Yeah. No, so... At the beginning, we were wondering who would step up, and uh, now we are still wondering who will step up. Uh, the last game, they had seven different rushers. In this game, it felt like 100. So, <laughs> Oh, yeah, definitely. You never knew who was going to get that handoff, and mm -hmm. also when it did, you knew nothing was going to come out of it because that CSU line was just suffocating for that team. Yeah, agreed. So is there anything else you'd like to add to this? Oh, yeah, we will have the highlights coming up very soon on YouTube, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I am Jared Stratton signing off for Corey Odom.